So the very first conversation I had with Triple H, and he asked me, what do you want to do? <laughs> and I told him, can I bring back the LWO? And before I said the letter O, he said, nope. Uh, I want you to be you, and I want people to see you and not think of anybody else. I want you to think of something. You want a group? We can do a group. But write something down, think about it, give it to me, and we'll see. Uh, so that kind of shut down my initial <laughs> desire. But Triple H was right. The time wasn't right. It, it wouldn't have been what it is right now. Uh, and also, it needed a very important ingredient, an OG, uh, an original LWO, and that's right. Absolutely. And, and so, uh, and so that that's why uh, Legato that came about, and and it was beautiful. Really, it it gave me the opportunity to do what everything I wanted to do, who I am, where I come from what I'm about. And that's what I did every single time I was out there. Every promo, every backstage, every scene, every feud, every rivalry was letting people know that I'm all about Lucha Libre, that Lucha Libre is about tradition, heritage, culture, familia. All the values that you have, whether you're Mexican, Latino or not, are the values I have. We relate. And that's how Legado got over that's how santos got really over it on nxt because everything i say it's real well it's like you were saying in the beginning that there's so much of you in your character and i do think that you definitely show that i mean with the masks that you would wear in an entrance or whatever or just everything that you were doing it was clearly paying homage to the past showing that you care about the people that are with you and showing that you're part of the future and i think that that's so important and i think that you know, for someone who's watched WWE TV for so long and, you know, being a Latino person myself, like, it's so cool to see that positive representation on TV. And, you know, people always talk about representation being important these days. And I think that a lot of times, and I'm not, like, a lot of times Mexican representation doesn't get, or Latino representation doesn't get the same level of importance, I think, that sometimes, I, and, and sometimes... Uh, there is a big like lack of that, in, you know, in the MCU or whatever. And I think that when you have someone like you and 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 you know your group on TV that really puts it in a positive light, it, it, it's definitely something that I, as a viewer, uh, I'm really happy to see. Yeah, me too. And and I think the time is right. Uh, right now is a Latino time. Uh, and just touching about the, that uh, thing about the MCU, I think I should have been the more. I'm just put, I'm just putting it out there. Put it out there. Let's do I it. Think, we'll make a clip on it. We'll put it out there. I think it should have been no more, but you know that said, uh, I think it's 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 our time, and I think it, you know, sometimes it takes certain magical reunions. Uh, sometimes it's just how the stars are aligned. But I think right now in the world, in different areas, uh, talk about business, talk about society, talk about politics. Uh, talk about a vote, talk about how people spend their money. Latinos are growing. Uh, having the LWO just now, I think, is a perfect timing for it to have this representation. Latinos in the USA, Latinos in Central and South America, Latinos around the world, they're happy because they have representation, proper representation, and uh, and we just feed off of that. We love that. That's a, All of us, we share that same uh, set of values.